out was stolen from him in his first fight against Floyd Mayweather. He certainly finished very, very strongly. This is the man who was sparring partner to the great Julio Cesar Chavez for five years. He would have learned plenty and he did learn plenty. Well, he certainly learned what it's like to be tough. Yo, he'll want this back very badly indeed. He wants to win here. Last time he felt aggrieved, he felt robbed. He went forward for a great tough fight. Really took it to Mayweather, but now he wants to get his revenge. He certainly felt that he hurt Mayweather, especially late on in the first fight. He said, I hurt him more than he hurt me. Tonight, he aims to leave no room for argument. This is a meeting of the top two lightweights in the world, and this is one of them. Jose Luis Castillo, the former WBC lightweight champion, aiming tonight to recapture the crowd. Underdog with the bookmakers in Vegas, but you'd expect that. He's not an underdog in his own mind, that's the main thing. That's right, and the way he finished the last fight, you know, you wouldn't be, you, you know, it's a good bet, I think, a, a bet for Castillo, because he did look strong. Mayweather didn't seem to be enjoying it in there. Here comes the pretty boy, Floyd Mayweather, to a mixed reception, it has to be said, from the Mandalay Bay crowd here. This is a man who seems to have been getting himself involved in rows with everybody. His partner, his father, his promoters, the television channel that covers him over in America. He just seems a troubled individual, but there's a feeling here that all of that just might spark him into another big performance. He's due one. Well, that's exactly right. He needs a big performance. He needs to look good here, because he hasn't really looked that good recently. He's boxed so much on the back foot. He needs to be strong. He needs to do it well. 28-0, though, Floyd Mayweather, and certainly in the argument for the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world. He wouldn't have the title at the moment. Well, filthy rich records. He's making $2.4 million more than the heavyweights on the bill tonight. That is a cracking purse, to be sure. Welcome to the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada, for an evening of World Championship Boxing. This event is being brought to you by Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated in association with the King of Beers, Budweiser, and the heart and soul of boxing, HBO Sports. This bout stands for 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Lightweight Championship of the World. Being sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman, Dr. Luther Mack, and executive director Mark Ratner. The judges in charge of scoring will be Ken Morita, Larry O'Donnell, along with Daniel Vanderweer. And when the bell rings, the third man inside the ring, fair but firm referee Joe Cortez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment has come to find out who is El Mas Macho. In the blue corner, he steps in the sight in an effort to reclaim his crown wearing blue trunks trimmed in white and weighing in at the lightweight limit of 135 pounds. As a professional, he maintains a record consisting of 46 victories, 5 defeats, 1 draw, and 42 of his victories coming by way of knockout. El Orgullo de Empalme, Sonora, Mexico, and fighting out of Mexicali, Baja California. The former WBC lightweight champion of the world, Jose Luis El Temible Castillo. His opponent across the ring in the red corner. He is here this evening to defend his title. Stepping into the ring wearing Carolina blue trunks trimmed in white and weighing in at 134 pounds. As a professional, he maintains an undefeated record consisting of 28 victories. 20 of his victories coming by way of knockout. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, he is the WBC lightweight champion of the world. Pretty boy Floyd Mayweather.
Referee Joe Cortez for this one. High profile appointment for a high profile fight. This is the lightweight showdown between the top two in the business at the moment at nine stone, nine pounds. Castillo, though, I would say the stronger at the weight still. Castillo, Mayweather. They don't want to talk to Joe Cortez, not yet. They better. All right, gentlemen. We win all the rules in the dressing room. Okay? Yeah. Go back here, he's on the way. Come here, come here. Punch his ear, good. Punch his ear, good. Sweat it, remember, guys. I'm fair, but I'm firm. Touch him up. They didn't really want to listen to it, Glenn. No, they didn't. They didn't want to touch gloves either. They just want to get back to their own corners. Well, much of America has been crippled by a big freeze this week. But in here, the man of Bay, the action's always hot. Top class this. Can Castillo take the crown back from the unbeaten Floyd Mayweather? Mayweather, who finished weakly in their first fight and looked troubled by the strength of a very insistent Castillo, who many people felt was robbed in the first fight. That was certainly the view of the American television channel watching it at ringside. Mayweather in what's described as Carolina Blue trunks here. Well, their first meeting, it was Mayweather's first fight at lightweight straight for the title, and he won it. So maybe he's a bit stronger now. Expect this to be a battle between the pressure and strength of Castillo and the clever back foot boxing of Mayweather. Or will Mayweather try to meet fire with fire a little more this time? We shall see. Well, he can punch when he needs to, Mayweather, although he does have bad hands at times. Well, he says he'd be a vicious knockout artist if it wasn't for those bad hands which have troubled him since his amateur days. But he is a real skillster, as they say over here, Mayweather. Just a feeling, though, that in recent times, since he put Diego Corrales down five times and stopped him, that he has just been a shade negative. Yes, maybe just having a different game plan. Likes to move around a lot, use the ring, use his fast combinations. Which is a perfectly valid tactic against Castillo-style opposition. Who's learnt most from the first meeting? Who can produce that something extra this time? Good body shot there from Castillo, that's what he wants. Well, he says that was low, it didn't look that low to me. No, that didn't look too low, did it? It's a decent shot from Castillo. And again, with the left hand. He's got a very, very good knockout record, Castillo. He stopped 42 of the 46 people that he's beaten. Well, he's putting a good pressure on Mayweather here. Nice educated pressure. Not rushing in, Castillo. Not playing Mayweather's game and allowing him to counter punch happily. Just waiting and biding his time. It's quite cagey. That's a bit better for Mayweather. It's what he needs. Nice fast hands from him. Trying to finish the round. Bigger, but Castillo gets to him again. And now the Mexicans done just that little bit more in the first round. Well, the last fight was a raging controversy. That was a closest round, but I think Castillo did that well, didn't he, opening round? I think he gave you a good pressure. He got you near round. That's what he's trying to do. And he's just nice little cover in there. He just kept coming after me. Well, the famous black mamba two-time world champion in the 80s
second round Floyd Mayweather in the blue trunks and he moved up to lightweight for the first time in the first meeting with Castillo Castillo certainly more natural at the weight remember he beat the excellent Stevie Johnson to take the title amid some blazing heat in the desert drew a return with him beat the former champion Cesar Bazan and then a Korean in one round yes he's done the work over the years Castillo you said his farm partner for five years with Julio Cesar Chavez yes, so he knows all about the game Again, Mayweather being forced to box on the back foot. We kind of knew that going in, but there is this question mark about Mayweather's mood and temperament this week. He failed to show at the pre-fight press conference, doesn't want to talk to the media, fed up with the negative publicity, he says, not ready to cope with that, and they're paying him $2.4 million. He can't show up at a press conference. Bob Arum, the promoter, was incandescent with rage. He's really... Trying to break the world record for making enemies at the moment, Mayweather. Yes, he is. You always wonder what sort of mood he's in as Castillo again puts the pressure on. By the way, among the judges here, Larry O'Connell from Great Britain. They like British judges over here, don't they, for these big ones? John Keane recently, he's got a lot of big appointments. Well, Mayweather electing to use the ring and try and just dart in with these fast jabs and then out. Nothing really scoring that solidly. But I just wonder if it does go long distance and it does go to a controversial decision, can Mayweather expect favours from the judges this time after his behaviour during the week? Mm. We'll see. Well, as you said, he's not made a great deal of friends in the business. Good jab that time from Mayweather. Well, he's starting to find his range a little better in this round, Mayweather. And he's got a two. Very, very smart. At times, he can be quite beautiful to watch, Mayweather. Yes, he does remind you of a Sugar Real Leonard who has the similar skills and fast hands. Took one on the way in there, though. Little reminder from Castillo. Promises to be tight and tense again, doesn't it, this? Yes, it does. That run I give from Mayweather. I just thought he, he started to get his boxing going, get, his, get in range and get in and out quick. Hard jab to the body. Because he ain't going to keep him up. We'll keep, we'll keep, keep, him, keep him fainting, though. Hard jab up, up and top, down and bottom. Down with that jab. All right. All day. How you feel? You feel good. You're going to tame him just like this. Everything is here for Chuck. He got to take chance. Yes. Después de la pelea más fácil, ¿me entendiste? Hazla. Okay. Decisión. Sí. Dame la condición para trabajar al ritmo que nosotros quieramos. Two calm corners. Vámonos. Highly professional Tranquilo, and polished fíjate, in their work, fíjate, as you'd expect. Fíjate. Round three. For the WBC lightweight crowd. This was Jim Watt's old title, and of course, another great Scott, Ken Buchanan, held it too. Classic division. Nine stone, nine pounds. Recent champions also including Duran, Arguello, Chavez, Penal Whitaker, Oscar De La Hoya, who by the way is at ringside tonight, among many stars. I think Mike Tyson's in as well. Castillo trying to get his jab working. He needs to do that, he needs to take control of the jab away from Mayweather. He's having trouble with Mayweather's speed. Joe Cortez just wanting it cleaned up a little. All the time Mayweather's looking to sucker him in and counter him with those fast punches and then nip away again. 
Well, that's his game there again. A little short right hand over the top as Castillo comes in. Castillo wants to pull him against those ropes and make it a bit of a barroom brawl if he can. But pinning Mayweather in there, very, very tricky assignment indeed. Look at the way he got out there, like an electric eel. Yes, that's what he's good at. Good footwork, moves in and out of range so well. Smart little left hand of Castillo, just being outboxed at the moment. Mayweather is settling into his rhythm here and dominating. Yes, he's starting to show some class, Mayweather. Looks sharp, looks fit. And Castillo just cannot effectively close the range on him. Mayweather was so fast away there that he was almost the width of the ring away from Castillo by the time that they re-engaged. Castillo needs to come in behind that jab, double it up and throw something behind that, the right hand. One shot's not going to be enough, Mayweather's too quick for that. Castillo might think, Glenn, that his time in this fight will be late on again, like it was in the first one. Well, I think that's what we're looking for. We're looking for Mayweather to retire a little bit, then he can... The quickness is not there, and he can exert better pressure. Some brilliant boxing here from Mayweather. So far, so slippery. Imperceptible changes of angles, leaving Castillo hitting thin air. But they with the right hand, they run at the end of the round, but that was made by this round big. Fourth round. Mayweather and those blue trunks looking sweet so far. Originally from Grand Rapids, Michigan, but now living in Las Vegas, which is one of the reasons we have no local judges for this. The Castillo people in the WBC didn't want that, and uh, understandably enough. So we've got a Japanese judge, Britain's Larry O'Connor, and Daniel van der Wheeler from Belgium, very respected. Just looking a bit one-dimensional so far, Castillo. Needs more than this. Yes, he's got to show something different. He needs to exert pressure a bit quicker. He's giving me well the room just to get away. Mayweather, who had eight successful defences at the World Super Featherweight Championship before making his move up. And he's finding his... Accuracy, good there, Mayweather, picking his punches nicely. Well, he's trying to turn the heat up, Castillo, but at the moment he can't find the switch. I just wonder whether Mayweather's grown into this division a little more over the eight months since the first fight. Well, he'll have been training hard, and you know, it takes a while to, to fit into the division. It's not just going to happen overnight. It's a bit better from Castillo, isn't it, here? And this is where he needs to be. He needs to be in close, he needs to be rugged. Try and out-tough Mayweather. And maybe take away some of his speed for later, too. Wrapping him up on the inside, using the supposed extra strength. Be better from Castillo, though, this round. Yes, the movement's not as good for Mayweather. He's standing a little bit more, and this is suiting Castillo. Mm, he's having a lot to say, Joe Cortez. Yes, and most of it to Castillo, which the crowd don't like. And there's a lot of Mexican support for him. But the blood from his nose, Castillo.
But less work from Mayweather in this round. He's finishing it well with some classy work, but I think Castillo did a bit more. Of the world. Castillo getting his chance again, even though he lost the first fight on the cards by five, four and two points. Not many people would have been given that, but it does help if you're a, a Mexican with the WBC, who are based there, of course. Oh, lovely bit of work back by Mayweather. Didn't he pick that to perfection? Yes, he does look for that right hand counter a lot, and he just throws as a single shot. It works so well. And sometimes you look for Mayweather, and he's just not there. Like a game of chasing shadows. It's going to be one of those fights again where the rounds are open to varying interpretations. Yes, I think this fight's going to swing one way, then the other. Castillo wants digging in those hooks to the body. Well, he needed to find punches like that, Castillo. It just raises the question whether Mayweather's lost a little, only a little of his speed with the move up. He's talking to him in there now. There's a sort of relentlessness about Castillo, isn't there? You can see that he had all those years with Chavez. And that must have been tough work with Chavez. Well, I think Chavez looked after him a bit, though, you know. He was like an idol and mentor to him. He almost worshipped at the shrine, Castillo, all those years. I mean, absolutely loves the guy. Well, he's picked up a lot up from Chavez. And he's better in this round from Castillo. Good body shot. Pressure's a lot better, Mayweather not moving as much. I think if he can slow him down, that is very, very bad news for Mayweather. A rare success with the jab for Castillo. Mayweather's uh, trainer was saying at the press conference he never throws a jab, he did then. Good stuff back again from Castillo, who's landing with more. It's absolutely fascinating, this, isn't it? Strategically, it's a very good fight. Castillo did well there. He applied that pressure. Mayweather wasn't getting out of the way as much and not so many counters from him either sixth round during the interval Castillo got a warning from the referee about blows straying low first fight Mayweather had a point deducted he still got that controversial decision even uh, with that in the equation Mayweather trying to go back to the tactics of use a jab and just step away that really works for Mayweather then look to draw Castillo in and look for the counter punch yes and it's just a little subtle shift in strategy I think from Mayweather here oh he, he got hit with a left hand and for once it was Castillo on the back foot but I think he's trying to use the jab to keep Castillo off balance stop him from coming in at him and the 
good left hand. Not getting out of the way of all these punches, Mayweather. Fight on a knife edge. It really is. Again. Castillo always fires back with something, doesn't he? Every time he does get caught by something. Than us, I guess what he's up to. Those aren't the right tactics for me. Whether it's best when he uses the, the, the lateral movement, steps in, steps out. That's what suits him more. Well, I thought around the second and third round that Mayweather was going to put on a real fantastic masterclass of boxing, but there's been a swing in the mood since then. Looks to have lost his way, Mayweather here. Yes, he has a, a little bit. And he used that jab to the body from long range, Mayweather. Got the boxing going again here. For half a minute or so, Mayweather. Can he sustain it, though? Can he keep Castillo away from him? And that's what he's going to try and do. That's what works best for him. Then he backs away with his hands down. That's when he runs into trouble from Castillo. Last few seconds of the round. Mayweather working well with the jab over the second half of this session. Well, this is a close, close fight again between these two in the battle for lightweight supremacy. You see, you touch him with that jab, you touch him with that jab, he's looking for the jab. He ain't looking for that lead right hand. So keep touching the fan, fan, and drop the lead right hand on top, okay? Change him up a little bit. He just doesn't have that confident look about him these days. Right, that he had a day in his career. As if there isn't quite the same certainty. Yeah, I think maybe he's found a level. It's getting harder for him now. Well, he went to a good left hand there from Castillo. I've got the fight dead level at this stage. This is the seventh round, moving into the second half of the contest. The light blue trunks of the champion, Floyd Mayweather, the dark blue, Jose Luis Castillo. Remember, he's looking to get back this WBC lightweight crown tonight. At a packed Mandalay Bay. Lovely countering right hand again from Mayweather. Sometimes he can make punching look like poetry. Oh, he's got to find more of those shots. Is Castillo strong and coming forward? And I've got Castillo ahead, 58-56. I've just got him winning the last round. Which I gave to Mayweather, which is why I have it level. But this is certainly there to be won and lost over the second half of the contest. Very much so. It's better there for me when the stand is going to get some nice shots going in. Good accuracy. Mayweather smiles, says something to somebody at ringside. I think it was uh, Larry Merchant, the HBO commentator for American television. A little wink at ringside, showing his confidence. Almost as if to say, I think I'm doing all right so far. He's oh. doing better in this round. He's picking his punches better. But I think he can, he can afford to lead first because he's got the, the edge and speed over Castillo. He doesn't always have to wait the counter. You think he can box on the front foot more? Yes, I think he can. You know, that's where he picks the jab up. You know, when he tries to beat Castillo to that shot. 
working so far in this round. Yeah, what's Castillo like backed up? He hasn't really found that out, has he? But Castillo has a sharp dig at this weight and he's still much, much more the natural lightweight of the two. And I think Mayweather, will we see him fade in the last three, four rounds as in the first fight? If that happens to him this time, he could be in deep, deep waters. This is more like it from Mayweather, leading off with that jab, looking a lot better. Working a left hook there, though. Castillo looking to come on strong late in the round, but it is late in a round in which he's largely been outboxed. And that's one of Mayweather's problems. He doesn't look uh, full of punches for three minutes around. Well, Castillo finished the round strongly when Mayweather decided to give himself half a minute off, but I think Mayweather did enough over the first two and a half minutes to be grounded. Yes, he did. The boxing was much better. He's done the ground. Levanta la vista. Estamos un poquito atrás que más inteligente, más vivo. No tiene por qué entregarte para que te cambie. Castillo was saying after the first fight, he's not as fast as I thought, and he doesn't punch hard either. Won two Mexican titles before he ever became a world champion, Jose Luis Castillo. That's decent work at the end of the round from Castillo, that's when he got the best shots in. On to round eight of this fascinating battle. Mayweather, who well, I was talking to his grandmother last night, who basically brought him up, and she said he started boxing when he was three years old. They used to lift him up in the gym, and he'd throw punches at the bag. I think he was born with boxing gloves on this guy. Well, being in the Mayweather family, you would be, wouldn't you? There wouldn't be too many escapes, would there? His dad and two uncles, high-level performers. reddened around the face Mayweather now can Castillo repeat his big finish of their first meeting again he's back to the, the counter punching with the right hand that's working well for Mayweather but then he just stands still and that allows Castillo to get to him Almost a clash of heads there. There's that blood from the nose again of Castillo. Take more than that to worry somebody like him. They're very well matched, these two. Lowish blow with the left hand. Cortez, the referee, has a word with Castillo about that. Well, you can't tell they're the two best fighters in the division. Listen to the Mexican fans trying to lift Castillo. Many of them from his uh, current base of Mexicali. Oh, clean right hand from Mayweather. Just the impression of him landing the cleaner shots for the most part on the way through. He's looking a little tired in this round, Castillo. Oh. Mayweather starting to get on top. Loading up with these right hands, Mayweather. Some big shots have butted in. Oh. 
And now there's a cut by the right eye. Is there a Castillo developing? And certainly some kind of nick there. Change, don't throw the same punch every time. All right, change him up. Change him up. Move around, baby. Stay off the rope. I want to see more of that. Baby, stay off the rope. Well, you got to leave right hand. Stop the, the right conference. hand. The book behind. It's going to be an easy whooping. Then come back. Right hand to the body. Right hand back on top. Okay. Easy fighting this in the ring. Don't get on the rope. Don't even make it look like you're doing something. Don't look like you're doing something. Don't look like you're doing something. Big right hands were landed by Mayweather in the closing seconds of the round. But you didn't see any of them there. <laughs> Nonetheless. Ninth round into the home straight of this one. Castillo had a bad round there in the eighth, I thought. Just looked a little laboured, plodding, and as Glenn said, I don't know whether he was just taking a breather or what, whether he's starting to tire. Well, he's got his nose damage, which is, is quite bad. It's bled an awful lot. I think you know, that often hampers the breathing. He's got a bit of damage, too, by the right eye, Castillo. Oh, and Mayweather... Just sleepwalks his way out of the corner for the first half minute of the round and Castillo with one or two successes. Well, he really sets himself up for shots like that, Mayweather, because he lets this stand still. Sharp counter. But this is better from Castillo at the start of this round. He's starting to dig his toes into the canvas. Look to put a bit more weight into these shots, you fancy. Just remind Mayweather again, he's in with a big, strong, lightweight in a long-distance fight. This is where it might get hard for Mayweather, late on again. Might. We don't know that. He might cope with it all better this time. Hello, hello, hello. It's not been a spectacular or dramatic or sensational fight, but it's always been absorbing and enjoyable. Yes, it's very good quality. You know, they're, they're matched so well together. <laughs> Mayweather holds the left low, the right high, catches a lot of shots with that right glove. They are being made to miss a lot. Hey, hey, hey. Again, Mayweather wriggles his way out of trouble on those reps. Can Castillo really sustain a period of pressure? You feel that's what he needs? I had Castillo behind by a couple of points going into this round. Certainly the extra speed is paid dividends for Mayweather now. Break, 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 break! He came in at a good weight as well, a pound inside Mayweather for this, which suggested despite his mental problems going into the fight, that uh, he's well prepared physically. He keep looking for that. He looking, he looking for that, that jab, that jab, jab, or right hand over the top, right? Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is, off the jab, we drop a hard right hand to the body, all right? Drop a hard right hand to the body, all right? He's a real character, Roger Mayweather, as his dad, Floyd, who fought Sugar Ray Leonard three weeks after being shot in the leg. <laughs> he's a hard people. They're very hard. Tough enough fighting Sugar Ray Leonard when you're fit. Maybe young Floyd was watching the video of that. I think he decided he'd base himself on Sugar Ray. I think that was a good decision.
10th round. Floyd Mayweather in those light blue trunks who hasn't lost since the Olympic Games semi-final back in uh, 1996. Beaten 10-9 against a Bulgarian and wanted to throw away his medal. And once again, it was grandmother who came on the scene and said, you keep it. She ordered him. His grandmother has plenty to say in the mirror in the household. And I've got mirror in our head now. He's coming back on top, 1.8 to 6.85. I've got it to Mayweather by three. Castillo needs to do more. I think Glenn and I agree about that. Mayweather just being quite clever there, grabbing hold and preventing Castillo from working. Well, at this point in the last fight, it was starting to get tough for Mayweather, but he's coping much better in this one. I think he'll have known in the training, wouldn't he, that this time he'd have to be in condition to go 12 hard, hard rounds. I wonder if he was mentally ready for that the first time. Because there was talk about him moving straight through from lightweight up to light wealth and taking on Costa Chu. But I notice he's um, stopped talking about that. I think this might be far enough for the time being. I think he feels this is, um, this is far enough and, and he's not quite strong at this way. There was a little clash of heads there. Has he run out of ideas, Castillo here? It looks like he has, though. He's having a bad little spell in the fight. He needs to find something bigger now. Mayweather looks comfortable, looks to be enjoying it. Strong, pressure fighter. But has he quite got enough tools in the box, Castillo, to cope with the speed and higher level artistry of Floyd Mayweather? Get him Is there going to be another little change in the play? Another twist? Because at the moment, Mayweather looks in quite comfortable control of things to me. Yes, he seems to have the measure of Castillo. Picking him off there beautifully with that right hand. Very accurate. And much, much too fast. Castillo must feel at times as if he's trying to throw rice at an express train. No, I think he's getting out of box. He's he's calling. Calling. I've got a four points behind Castillo. Now. I'm just going to two points there. Oddly, but it's certainly it's Mayweather's fight. He's in control. He's he handling this well and it's getting hard for Castillo. He's showing the reflexes with the right hand for Floyd Mayweather. What about Mayweather's performance here? I think it's good. He looks strong. The boxing's good. He's picking his shots off well. Either of you will give him the ring because he does. He was dazzling, though, as he used to at Super Featherweight in the earlier days. Single shots, how many combinations? I think it's getting, it's getting harder from as he's gone on. And you know, he's got to think about it more. At this level, it's hard to look dazzling. Yeah, 11th round then. Yeah, I think the extra weight might have taken something away from Mayweather. But I think he's in control of this all right, and he is in with a man who's proven himself in those two fights with Stevie Johnson and uh, Cesar Bazan as well in World Lightweight Championship fights. Not to mention the first one with this guy. Nice little right overcut as Castillo come in. That's a nice little right hand again there for Mayweather. But I think his up is the pound for pound argument. I think what Mayweather isn't at the moment is exciting. No, I think he needs more. I think he summed it up. He needs to throw more combinations. He needs to try and do that extra bit. 
now he looks like a fighter who, who's thinking about what I do to win. Doing it now. Just these single shots. One to head, one to body. There's another one. Jim Castillo boxing, there's one, 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 one as well. At the moment, Joe Cortez doesn't take off the point. Again, they touch gloves. Two fighters get on fine together. No grudge match here. Looks to me, Castillo, as if he's almost accepted the situation. Yes, he just can't find a way and he can't deal with the speed, the movement that Mayweather has. You know, and he just, he's run out of ideas here. And because of that, the fight hasn't really quite caught fire. Bit of damage to the face of Castillo, testament to the, the power and speed of Mayweather. Shades of Pernal Whitaker, Julio Cesar Chavez. Yes, a little bit, isn't it? Mayweather still giving the impression he's just doing enough. And I think in the hard school over here, that isn't quite enough for some observers. They expect more from people like him. Uh, Castillo has gone a long time, I think, without winning a round now. Yes, he has. He's going to get his shots on, it really is. Uh, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, bring out, Well, unless he can come up with something, Castillo, here, I think there's going to be no controversy this time. He's going to lose by a long way. I've been a bit disappointed in Castillo in the second half of the fight. Second half of the fight. Last time the second half, that was his part of the fight. He's very strong, very He's just been a bit smart. What he thinks he's going to do is move. Shake him, slide back, frame, hook right hand. Put your right hand more in play. You have to leave right hand, okay? Put your right hand more in play. Leave right hand. They want more right hands from Mayweather. Here is if Castillo has asked all his questions and he's got all the answers and he doesn't like them much. This looks like he's a person that's come to terms with the fact he's going to lose this fight. That he's in with a better fighter, basically. Yes. Twelfth and final round, and I reckon Jose Luis Castillo needs to knock out Floyd Mayweather here and he's going to get back his old crowd. He just hasn't come in with quite enough burning desire for me this time, Chris He hasn't had the devil that he had in the, in the last fight. And there when they're pulling away, 106, 103. And I've got it two points wider than that. Coming in in straight lines, Castillo, but not really getting any punches off when he gets there. And Mayweather can skip away again. Sharp little right hand, but I think when history of looks back on these two battles between these two, I think the verdict's going to be a bit disappointing. Yes, I think you know, but when you get two good fighters together, you know, I mean, they're, they're both quality, so you can't get one to look as as good as he maybe would with a lesser fighter. Yeah, it's fair point. That's in there. No two ways about it. Mayweather's done what he has to do here to nullify Castillo. But here comes the Mexican, maybe with one late last rally to try to pull this round somehow. Mayweather seems to have the measure, block some of them punches, he's pretty good at catching shots with the gloves. Sharp again. I think the reason he isn't landing the combinations is he's not in a hurry to stay close for long, within range. 
that's right, Castillo is a good puncher and very strong. So he wants to be out of range, he just wants to do enough. Get the, the scores in, get the shots on, and then just get out of the way. Now when he was uh, spitting the toys out of the, uh, the pram this week, or throwing the toys out of the pram, he was even talking about this being his last fight retiring. I don't think anybody took that seriously. He does need to get his ego back under control, Mayweather. It's about the size of the Mojave Desert near here at the moment. Yes, he is a, a moody character. Castillo trying to exert some late pressure on Mayweather. Staying on those ropes, trying to fiddle him out of it somehow. Not done much in this last round, Mayweather. The Castillo's punches. Oh, and the mirror is just comfortable there to catch them all on the arms and gloves. Just smiled through the gum shield at Castillo. As if oh, down he goes, there's no knockdown, no knockdown. Come over his feet, I think. Bit of late drama there as the bell goes. Mayweather knows he's won the fight, I think. Climbs up under the ropes, says no controversy this time. Castillo has the look of a beaten man. There was no attempt from him to raise his arms aloft. I think everybody knows the score, including members of the Castillo family. Mayweather's won it. He wasn't amazingly impressive. He's a sweet scientist, all right. Uh, Castillo, I think, was disappointing. Yes, he couldn't really be anything else. 116-112, I had it for me over the four rounds. I had it by five to Mayweather in the end. But that was a, a good performance for Mayweather. He did what he had to do. He was smooth. He finished the fight the better with a good boxing. Good atmosphere between the pair of them. They embrace afterwards, but this was typical of the action, particularly in the second half of the fight. He has just moved and slips, shifts the angle, hits with a lead right, does some good stuff, Mayweather. We await confirmation from the three officials, including Britain's Larry O'Connell, who was involved in that controversy, of course, when he scored the first Holyfield Lennox Lewis by the draw. He was saying he was hoping there was nothing like that this time when we spoke to him yesterday at the way and well there didn't ought to be Castillo a wry smile but I think Mayweather's kept his unbeaten record here whether he's a really comfortable at lightweight and can be a great lightweight I think remains to be seen here we go ladies and gentlemen after 12 rounds of boxing we have a unanimous decision judge Daniel Vanderweer scored about 115 to 113 Judge Larry O'Connell scores it 116 to 113. And Judge Ken Morita scored about 115 to 113. All to the winner by way of unanimous decision. And still WBC lightweight champion of the world, pretty boy Lloyd Doesn't get a big, big reception, Mayweather, by two points on uh, two of the cards and by three points on Larry O'Connell's card. I thought it was a bit wider than that, actually, but we've got the right winner here and no two ways about it. Jose Luis Castillo, he was real tough, you know, a tough opponent, and um, that's what I was looking for, a tough fight, a good, exciting fight, and that's what he brought tonight. The scores were e even closer this time than last time. And yet last time you fought with an injured shoulder. How do you account for that? Like I said before, I'm the black sheep of boxing. I'm fighting against the odds. But, you know, with, you know, with, with prayers and God behind me, can't nothing stop what me. What odds are you talking about? I'm saying, you know, I feel like everybody is against Floyd Mayweather. But you got to get respect what respect is due. I'm one of the best out there, powerful power. And I prove myself over and over again. Floyd Mayweather's not ducking or dodging any opponent out there. I'm willing to fight whoever, whenever. So does that mean that next time you might fight a Stevie Johnson or a Juan Lescano? Um, anything is possible. Like I said, I love to fight Stevie Johnson. I love to fight Juan Lescano. But like I said, I'm looking forward to the to, to the bigger paydays, to the bigger fighters out there. I mean, like I said before, I want to fight big fights. And you know, I got to give thanks to all to God and my family, Team Mayweather. Without him, you know, Floyd Mayweather wouldn't be where he's at today.